And on this Friday night in Tallahassee, it is also underway. Well hit ball, ripped out to right, and Costello records the first hit for either side. It gets all the way to the corner. That is a stand-up double for the center fielder. And this is ripped right back up the middle. Coming around third. And scoring are the Deacons. Costello comes in to score. It is 1-0 Wake Forest. And this one's popped up. Ryan Romano at the wall makes the play. Martin off and running. Nelson with the base hit to left. Mike Martin Jr. throwing the hand up. Nelson also retreating back to first. Runners are now on the corners. Off the end of the bat. Throw to first. Got him in time. This throw. Well hit ball out to right and Wyatt Crowell records a hit. That's all the way out to the wall and he scampers into second for a two out double. Can they cash it in here? No, they can't. Cusick with the big response. It is still one nothing Wake Forest heading to the top of the fifth. Base hit for Matthew Nelson. Just fought that ball off the left field, that ball in on his hands. Oh, that got away from him. Runners advance. Round ball, that'll get away. Florida State will take the lead. Cabell gets the job done. Two run score and Florida State is on top. And down goes Wyatt Crowell. Ground ball, got off the glove of Romano. Wilkin makes his way aboard. And the Seminole streak is alive and well. And now we'll see if Florida State can take the series here on Saturday. Came up a little lame. Tarconi right back through the shoot. It's a great at bat for the Deacons here with two outs. And Tarconi is at first. Two outs, as this one's lifted well to left field. Wilkin gave it a ride to the track, to the wall, high off the scoreboard. Wake Forest leads in the first. Brock Wilkin does it again. Watch Cabell out in left field. Hasn't played much out there lately. He took one step and looked up, and that ball was well over his head. You have to get it well. First pitch swinging, gobbled up by Tricone. Oh, he airmailed it. Tyler Martin will be on first base. Tricone shaking out here against Fleming. And that's an excellent at bat by a veteran. This one dropping quickly will fall. In green grass, Tyler Martin had to go back to second, so that's going to prevent him from scoring, but the bases are full of some game back in a big spot. Albert to right field. That is gone. Grand slam, Reese Albert. Sometimes it takes one pitch, one swing to get you going. That's a good start for Wake Forest. Got some extra looks at her. Sits on the breaking ball here, serves it into right center field. Going from first to third will be Ludwig. Wake Forest has something cooking here in the top of the third. Not going there. Throw it. And Hubbard 
struggling to find the zone. There is the fastball. It's lifted well to right center field. Wilkin has gone yard grand slam Deacons. Wow. Got it out over the plate, made him pay. Having it bat. After Giancarlo Stanton. As you see what Cabell can do. Driven to right field. The power on full display. Florida State cuts the lead to one. Chip, that's a home run Stanton and Aaron Judge would be proud of. Just pure strength there. The ball jumps off his bat. Even as last night, there are three. And works a walk. It's a veteran at bat. Moves this one to left field. Now check that, it was his first career hit. That was a home run for Vince Smith. He got robbed. Did that ball stay fair? Oh my goodness. Vince Smith homers. I lost sight of the ball, it looked way foul and somehow it stayed in play. That breaking ball just misses. Like Forrest has had a pretty good entry. Another walk for Kwiatkowski. Bunt down, gonna be a tough play to make for Romano and beating the throw was Ludwig. It's the ground ball, will that get to the grass? Diving stop by Green. One run will score, we're tied. But nice work by Green to keep it in the infield. Might have saved another run. This one to center field. Should bring another run home. Albert makes the grab. Tagging from third is Ciceri. And Wake Forest takes the lead here in the sixth. Went back to the off speed. Got a swing and a miss. Nelson will have to throw down to first and does. That one misses. On the outside corner. B1 pitch. Ball four. Knowles have the tying run in scoring position. And the game. Swing and a miss. Adler gets the job done. Wake Forest evens the series. Well, we're ready for baseball here. First pitch from Connor Grady is a strike. Players. It, that's all they had available. Nelson sends this one deep to center field, and the outfielders are not just going to watch it go. Matt Nelson shoots one deep over the right center field wall. He gets Florida State up early with a solo shot. Mentioned early with good stuff on the mound, but got the ball out over the plate. But Robbie Martin has really been the staple here, and he proves it here down the right field line and to the wall. Extra bases once again for Robbie Martin. He's going to get in there sliding to second base. Gets jammed here, and this one's rolled over to Brock Wilkin, and he throws it errantly past Seymour, and that'll easily bring Robbie Martin home to the plate. 2 0 Florida State. So the error by Wake Forest keeps Florida State. Bases loaded 3 2. Everyone's going. Morales jams, goes to shortstop. Broderick is there, and he will make the out at first. Smith, Green, Tyler Martin, and Matthew Nelson behind the plate. Well, Brock Wilkin, first pitch he sees from Connor Grady is a looping single. Grady from the set. This one popped into the outfield. This is really deep at the warning track, and this has legs, and it hits the, hits the scoreboard, and it's out of here. What power the opposite way by Bobby Seymour. All of a sudden, it's 2-2. The ACC Player of the Year in 2019 coming up in a big way for the Demon Deacons. Northeast, which is directly where you want to be if you're a hitter. This one is also carried deep. Reese Albert going back, and that one is out of here. Chris Lanzilli. So back-to-back -back jacks for the Deacons. 
dramatically changing the momentum and complexion of this game. Early on, the Deacon. Yeah. Tampa Bay Rays. Here's a rip by Michael Ludwig. Keeps the inning going with a single right to Reese Albert. Nine spot on Friday night. But getting the start here in the first next two. Here's Morales again. This time it cannot be grabbed by Tyler Martin at first. This time, though, he gets it into left field. That's going to fall for a base hit. Around third comes Ludwig, and he is going to score. So just putting it in play, not doing too much. Moore and Chris Lanzilli. This one is opposite field into left field. That's not a problem, however, for Elijah Cabell. And Carson Montgomery gets Florida State. Two and two. This one grounded right over to Montgomery. He goes to home. Nelson fires to first. Double play. Performance last uh, Sunday against Miami as this one is ripped. And Ludwig just shows the fist bump. This one driven to the right, to right center field. That's a base hit. Here comes Ludwig once again to score. And they extend the lead to 5-2. So Bennett with his set. There goes the runner again. Seymour drives this one deep right field. That goes back to the parking lot. His second home run of the game. Bobby Seymour proving why he was the ACC Player of the Year just two years ago, having himself a field day. This one leaving the field. Their third going in. Matthew Nelson inside, and this one is going to go off the screen, off the scoreboard. A second home run for Matthew Nelson. His second solo shot of the day. Creeps Florida State a little bit closer back into this game. Eight to three, his 10th home run of the season. Double to three, two. And this one is destroyed, going over the right field line. Actually, the right field wall, I should say. Another solo shot for Florida State, two in a row. This time, it's Robbie Martin. That one was a no-doubter, Chip. That one, as soon as it made contact. And this one is a blast. Elijah Cabell, back to back to back. Elijah Cabell says, let's keep this thing going, baby. This one sharply hit right back up the middle. Munts with a single. Wake Forest has attacked the zone today, and that ball was well. This one getting away from Matt Nelson. Here comes a play at the plate. Munts will get there sliding. Did not secure it with the glove. Check swing grounder over to Morales, who needs to hurry to third from third, and he does not beat Costello. The run was going to score anyway with only one out. Zone here at 3-1, and he just misses. And so Tyler Martin will, and he draws a four-pitch walk. Damn. 3-2, Albert sends it deep. It's tracking. It's going to get to the warning track, and it is gone! Reese Albert with a huge home run for Florida State. Florida State's dugout goes crazy, and for good reason. They are now within just two runs. He hits one, a little looper into shallow center, and that will fall. Here comes Crowell around third. He will score. Smith holds up at third, but a huge base hit by Romano. Big opening on the right side. This one gets away. McNamee's pitch is errant, and Vince Smith scores to tie it, and Romano's going to third. It's a tie ball game. To him. One, two to Green. He gets a hold of it. This one's going into shallow right field down the line. However, Bobby Seymour is there, collides. Oh, oh my goodness, with Pierce Bennett. Bobby Seymour is able to come away with the conference games. And that one, it hits Bennett. So that's going to be 
to get Wake Forest back on the board. Ground ball over to Short. And Vince Smith can't hang, hang on to it. The ball skips underneath his glove, and Wake Forest gets Pierce Bennett home. In years past. And here's another ball that gets away wow. from Matt Nelson, and that is going to result in another run scored. Wilkin gets in. Secure the win for Wake. Romano gets that ground ball to the left side. It's Broderick at short, and he retires Romano. And dollar man if it's not, <laughs> not too late. But Adler is the $6 million man today. He, at least he feels like it with a strikeout to end the game. Wake Forest takes the series 2-1.